second day to freezer. Today we bring to you a story, a dramatization, a recount of a legend. The other day my daughter and I were talking about sci-fi, the origins of sci-fi. And popular sci-fi goes back to about the time of Edgar Allan Poe and Mary Shelley, where we have them as sci-fi fans in the genre as you could imagine it in the 1840s in America, in England. But one of the stories was, you heard of it, Frankenstein, the reanimation of um, a corpse or something. And that story has been played out many times. One other time of a similar genre would have been Pinocchio, where Geppetto makes a puppet that comes to life. And we know how that story proceeds. But there's another story that goes back. This is kind of a legend and partly history to Czechoslovakia probably around 1500. It's a story known as uh, the Golan. As some people call it, Golan Yosef. Because there was problems in Europe at that time. There were a couple of main religions, Christianity, in the form of Catholicism. There was Judaism and Islam. And in Czechoslovakia, the Catholics were not too impressed with the Jews, and so there was sort of a, a rumor going around that they would tell to scare children, that the Jews would like to have Christian children as their blood for supper. It's nonsense like that. It's not true but it made for fear to spread. So rumor has it, or legend, that the Rabbi Leva, his name means the lion, needed a helper. And he made a helper, supposedly from the mud of the earth. And to make the helper work, he put the name on it, across his head, Emmet. I think it's a Hebrew word meaning the breath of life. And he would help him with things. But as it is with the Jews, you cannot work on the Sabbath. So Friday at sunset, he had to put the robot away. And then Saturday at sunset, bring him back. Except one day when he forgot. And that's when the trouble started. So eventually, he had to put the robot out and get rid of it for good. Because I don't know if it caused the mischief on the Shabbos. And the interesting part was how he did it. The name across his head, Amen. He smudged off the Aleph. And it was Meh, which is the word for death. And then, his skull and fell into dust. And he was put into a crate in the attic in the synagogue in Prague. Praha. And to this day it's supposed to still be there. Nazis went up supposedly to look at it. And there's legends about that. So I just thought I would leave that with you to see if you've heard any other similar stories or legends along the same line. Well, anyway, until later, we'll be seeing.